good morning guys welcome back to my channel again it's AC Lawson channel so our topic for today is all about the part two of how to connect your um, switch to a desktop so the reason for making this video is because I tried to connect everything earlier because I want to show you some other stuff about the switch, um, about the screen. The thing is, I found something about the audio, so I just want to share it to you. Okay. Now I understand why, um, why I keep receiving questions saying that they don't have audio, saying that it won't work. Because on my first video, that was the thing I encountered. So that's why this is the part two, okay, to show you the things uh, I found out. So please watch this video so you could uh, find out too. Okay, so since this is the part two of the previous video, wherein how to connect uh, your switch to a desktop, I just want to show you something about the audio, okay? That's why we have this part two okay because in my previous video i told you that uh, my speaker won't work so i checked all the settings yesterday i tried to connect it using the wire it actually works and now i unplug it and then i tried it via bluetooth again same as the connection we had in my previous video and it finally works so basically you can use headphone or your speaker just make sure that you have the right settings because in my previous video for some reason it won't really work but right now I tried it I just want to share it to you that it will really work what I just did is actually played with the settings of the audio wherein go to these advanced properties and there's just I just played with this the audio input capture the monitor and output I always play with this settings you may encounter this kind of problem because as as I have encountered in my previous video okay it won't really work but now it works okay. so it doesn't matter whether the balance settings here the left and right it doesn't matter whether it, it you have it there or not but I'm showing it to you that it actually works so that's how it is uh, when it comes to the audio. The second thing is actually the screen. As you can see, this is the screen. It's like, yeah, you're right. Uh, because I have some uh, feedback wherein they said, uh, it's like on the TV, I want it in a full screen. This is actually F11 already. Okay, that's F11, get to the full screen. And if you're going to notice, I don't have the tab that we have here. It's gone. Okay. What I did is actually hide them. Okay. I hid it by simply removing the check here. If you're going to notice, I put check here and this one showed up. I put uh, check this here. So it's showing up here. So if you don't want to shoot, uh, if you don't want to see that, all you need to do is actually uncheck this thing. So that's why that's how I hid those tab. And then the question is still, it's not the full window. Okay, so here's the other thing. Previous scaling, make sure it's canvas. That is under edit. Previous scaling, and then canvas. So it's kind of, it's bigger, right? If you're going to look at it, it's right there. That's that's the setting of the um, 1920 by 1080. So if you want to see this game in a full screen, although I already hit the F11, there's another thing here. Go to edit, hit transform, stretch stretch screen okay
it's the whole screen. So let's just play Mario. I really don't know where to go. I really can't get out of here. Okay. But anyway, that's how it works, okay? So we we uh, talk about the audio. We talked about uh, the uh, the full screen, okay? And then there's another thing to connect your switch to your uh, PC monitor, okay? You don't need, if you don't want to use the video capture card and, and you just really want to see it in a big screen with the use of your uh, PC monitor, you can actually directly hook up your HDMI cable to your PC monitor. So, um, there's another thing that, uh, yeah, because there are PC monitors, they have different uh, plug-in, right? Their cable has different plug-in. Some are, they do have this HDMI port, okay, but some don't like mine it doesn't have an hdmi port so i have this old connector it's a vga connector so you can actually buy a converter from your vga monitor to hdmi in that way you can plug in your hdmi cable to your uh, pc monitor so that's it guys there you go thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video that is the part two of connecting your switch to a desktop okay hope i tackled everything about the audio the screen the resolution and the other display so um if you if you have more questions or suggestions leave a comment below okay i will try to answer all your questions and uh thank you so much to all my subscribers to those who haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel and uh thank you again have a nice day stay safe everyone see you again on my next video bye